Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm very casually filming like a little update video slash Q and A. Y'all have had a lot of questions ever since I found a lot of the same questions ever since uh, I announced that we are expecting. Um, so lots of questions that y'all had. So I thought I'd give a little bit of update um, on how I've been feeling and the past. I'm in my 10th week, so the past several weeks. I know I've updated a lot um, in my and we found out video and like the first several weeks video, um, but I didn't like go into detail on some things. So I thought I'd kind of update on how I've been feeling and answering y'all's most asked questions. I've asked y'all over on Instagram and in the YouTube community tab. I asked over there as well to ask some questions. So I'm gonna go over those. Y'all had two questions that were like the most asked questions. So I thought I'd go over some of those as well. So first of all, I know I've said it, but thank y'all so much for all of the love and just excitement that y'all shown us over this baby. I think I said this in the last video, but again, I am just, I love how excited y'all are for us and how excited y'all are to come along this journey with us this last time. Um, we are so excited and just trying to soak it all in um, this last time. So, I have been feeling, I actually told several people this, this has been my easiest pregnancy as far as sickness, which is such a blessing being that we've got four other kids and it's really hard being sick every day, pregnant with other kids. Like, I've done it before, I've been sick and had other kids and it's not easy being sick. Um, but this pregnancy has been my easiest as far as sickness. I've had very minimal sickness. And when I do feel sick, which I honestly, the last few weeks, I have it I've, every once in a while, I'll feel a little nauseous and I'll just eat something and I'm fine. But when I do feel sick, all I, I just need to eat. And so as long as I keep something on my stomach, eat like small frequent meals, I feel really good. So for the first few weeks after finding out, I would have to eat something pretty much right away after waking and I know I'd like get the girls ready for school and sometimes not eat anything before we left and went to school drop off and on like the way I would feel so nauseous to where I would drop them off and have to immediately run and grab like hash browns at a breakfast place or something like before I just threw up but it's just one of these things if I ate like if I were to eat something before I left to take them to school I would have been totally fine um so there's also been times where I know if I'm going somewhere I'll just bring like a small snack because I've got to keep something on my stomach but even that like I could go a little bit longer now like in the mornings usually I'm hungry and want to eat pretty much first thing in the mornings but I could now as I'm getting a little bit farther go a little bit longer and not feel sick and have to eat immediately. So that's the biggest thing is haven't been super nauseous, but I do gotta have something on my stomach. So, so, so far the sickness has been minimal and I've been able to keep that under control. At one of my appointments, I saw a midwife and I did ask her like, hey, if I need something, cause it was at that point where I was feeling a little more sick in between like eating. I said, if I need something, what can I take? And she recommended, B6, I think it was B6. And she told me like how much to take and all that. But I actually never had to take that. I never bought any because I didn't feel the need to have to take it. Um, so that is the sickness part. So far, so good with that. Hopefully I don't um, start feeling sick or anything. I would say the biggest um, thing that's been kind of tough is I've just been really tired, which is like that. I've always been like that in my first trimester. Um, which I feel like has gotten a little bit better, but like today, this morning, the kids are home from school on summer break now. I've just been so tired all morning and took a nap during nap time. And that's probably been my biggest thing is I've just been really tired and I want to take a nap every day at nap time, but I'm not always able to, but I try to at least rest for a little bit when I am able to. And food aversions, um, food aversions have not been bad i just tell y'all it's just been a pretty great first trimester so far food aversions in the past have been especially with cal i remember i wasn't that sick with cal either i never had to take anything for my sickness for my sickness but um i did with my pregnancies before that i had to take um like some nausea medicine to control it but with cal i never did i was 
it's kind of sick with him, but I never had to really take anything for it. But I remember with him, my food aversions were so bad. Like there were times that I only like one thing, like for dinner, like one thing would sound good and that's what I would eat. Um, but this time I'm pretty much able to pretty much eat it anything now the first few weeks i would say after finding out it wasn't as easy to just eat anything but my biggest food aversion and i just don't have a taste for it much right now is coffee which coffee is my favorite thing in the world or was just not right now coffee is just i've drank it every so often over the past several weeks like Sometimes if I'm, out, if I'm out, I'll run to Starbucks and grab a little coffee. Usually I don't drink all of it. I'll just drink a little bit of it. Um, but for the most part, it's just not something that has sounded good to me. But I will say that uh, it's actually, I feel like the taste is starting to come back a little bit on my grocery order this week. I did get stuff to make some lattes with my Nespresso. I even tried to make one this morning and my Nespresso is not working correctly. I've got to call them about that. It's my new one that I just got too. But it's been like several weeks since I've even used it. So... Um, if y'all hear the kids screaming in this video, they are outside playing and I can hear them. I just don't know if y'all can. They're outside with Ethan playing. Um, but yeah, it's a, this is the craziest thing. Coffee is my favorite thing in the world. And like, it's the thing right now that just does not sound good. But for the most part, like I've been, I meal prepped a little bit and, um, like grilled chicken has sounded really good, which in the past that did not sound good, like with past pregnancies. So just so far, everything's been really good. Um, that is mainly how the first several weeks have went. I haven't really drink, been drinking coffee, but when I do want to drink a little caffeine, Ethan, I buy these for him on our grocery orders, and I'll drink like one of these, which I know it ain't the best for me, but it don't have that much caffeine in it. Um, 34 milligrams of caffeine versus coffee's got a lot more, but like I'm having one of these today. And that's another thing, the first few weeks, water, I could not drink much water and now i can but it just water is one of those things water out of all things that don't even have a taste to it it was hard to even drink that anyways i'm gonna start getting into some of the questions and kind of see what else i can update as i'm getting into these questions okay i'm gonna start at the top and work my way down new car do we do a, a lot of people ask if they if we will need a new car um i don't think we will need a new car i think we can make our van work i have a a Honda Odyssey. We bought it new last year. Um, I think we can make that work. I know I follow someone that just had her fifth and she has a Honda Odyssey just like mine and it's worked for her well. That's not saying that we may. I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to say we will because I think if we will probably just keep what we have we may go back to a large suv if we as it gets closer feel like we just want that extra space especially like when we go out of town and things have that extra like trunk space and um easier to fit like car seats i know when i had my expedition it was easier to fit three in a row than with the odyssey um so as of right now i don't know for sure i would say as of right now i think we'll keep it but as it gets closer and if we see that we just want that extra space in a larger SUV, I guess we'll see. Ethan prefers a large SUV, um, which I loved my Expedition, but I love all the features that my van has more. If that makes sense. So I don't know. We'll see. Okay, every this is my number one question. One of the number ones. Will you be finding out the gender? And as of right now, we are not gonna find out this baby's gender again. We are gonna be team green again. We're gonna wait till the birth. Um, as of right now. Now, as my anatomy scans gets closer, I guess we could change our mind, but I don't think we're going to. I think we're just gonna keep this baby a surprise gender again. It was just fun with Cal, and it's like, why not? We have three girls, we have a boy. You know, it was just so much fun finding out in the delivery room that I think we'll probably just do that again. Daddy, I got the big boat. Okay. So yeah, as of right now, we're not going to. I did have a doctor's appointment yesterday, and I think that video will probably go up after this. I did vlog that day, but um, 
I shared in that video, I did do genetic testing. And in that genetic testing, you did have the option to find out the gender. And I told them to mark, don't find out the gender. And I hope that they will honor that and not accidentally put the gender on there. I just don't, I think I'm not even gonna go online and look at the results. I'm just gonna wait till my next appointment and let my doctor tell me. Cause I even told him like, I do not wanna know the gender. So I'm gonna wait till next time and you can tell me the, the results of the genetic testing. So we did have the option and we could, we could have found out within a few weeks after that testing comes back, but... Hey! All right, go outside and play, okay? Okay. Y'all go finish playing. Are you hoping for another boy? Um, I have no preference. I think that would be so fun for Cal to have a little brother and have three girls and two boys. Um, but, you know, healthy baby is really all that matters to us. I do think that would be really fun to have another little boy. Will you, this is another big one. Will you be moving houses? We're going to buy a new house, all this stuff. Um, not in today's market. We have no plans to buy a new house. Interest rates now are like more than double than what we got our interest rate for. And I couldn't imagine like buying a house right now with the interest rates how they are. So I don't know, I hopefully interest rates will get better and maybe one day we can buy a bigger house, but we have no plans in the next little bit to buy a new house. And I don't know exactly how, like I know this is another question, I don't know exactly how room arrangements are gonna work. But I know for the first at least several months, even up to a, a year, baby's just going to be in our room. And I even thought about doing a mini crib in our room this time instead of a bassinet. So you'll have to let me know in the comments if you did a mini crib and you preferred that like over a bassinet. I think that would last longer than a bassinet. We've never done a mini crib. Um, so I'm thinking about actually doing a mini crib this time. As far as when baby get, uh, is big enough to transition out of our room and we're ready for that i don't know exactly how room arrangements will be yet but we do have a four bedroom house and um i do wish the rooms were a little bit bigger it would make sharing rooms a little bit easier but we'll definitely make it work are you sure it's not multiple secretly open for twins for you all we are we've had three different ultrasounds there's just one baby will you do a modified weight watchers diet without officially being on weight watchers that's my biggest thing and that was my biggest thing when we decided that i wanted to have we wanted to have another baby i do not want to gain the weight that i've gained before especially when i was when i when i was pregnant with cal that's definitely something that i want to keep to a minimum and i have not really been following weight watchers lately just because not i know i said i hadn't really had that many versions but not everything has just sounded the best but um like i have been doing a little bit better like i've Lately, I've been eating like my typical breakfast with Weight Watchers, hash browns, eggs, and like maybe a piece of toast. I've been doing that lately, which is what I would eat on a typical um, Weight Watchers, typical day on Weight Watchers. And I actually meal prepped last week, and I have ever, I had every intention of meal prepping this week, and I just didn't have time to do it yesterday. Um, so I definitely still want to continue those meal prep videos and continue meal prepping those healthier meals as well. So, as much as I can, yes, and I definitely want to keep, I really want to keep that weight gain to a minimum this time. Names, we have no idea on names, like zero. Is this our last baby? Yes, we plan on this being our last baby. Five is just, I feel like the number for us. How do we tell our families? Um, we FaceTimed and called some, and we told some in person if we saw them and everybody seems really excited for us and excited to have another baby in the family and then the next question that was most asked was was this planned and i think you probably if you saw my video where ethan and i found out yes this baby was planned we planned to have a fifth we talked about having a fifth and we were like let's go ahead and do it and it happened immediately which is such a blessing that happened immediately because it's not always been like that for us. So yes, this baby was planned. I'm gonna like go through all the, are you finding out the gender? It was this planned. <laughs> also a couple people were confused about when I said the final chapter and someone said, you called this the final chapter for your family. Will you stop YouTube after the baby comes? No, I have no plans on stopping YouTube after the baby comes. And I just meant like the final chapter, meaning the final baby for our family. Um, in fact, I'm excited to continue all my videos throughout this pregnancy that I've done in the past, but also 
you know, get back on my health journey after baby's born as well and on my what I eat in the days and Weight Watcher content and all the things. I plan on getting back to that. How did I keep it a secret? <laughs> they said you don't, you don't, haven't looked pregnant in your last few videos. I've tried to, I don't even know what I've worn in my last few videos. Even like with our family, we actually just told them right before we announced on social media and I've just tried to wear things for my belly didn't look obvious. <laughs> Obviously, certain things that I wear it accentuates the belly a little more and makes it look like more pop, like it kind of pops more. And then other things don't. I, I just tried to wear things that can't really tell that much. What newborn items will you be buying? So we kept the car seat, which is the Duna car seat. If y'all have seen that, it's a car seat that also converts into a stroller. And I knew, because it's not cheap, I knew I did not want to get rid of that in the in case we were to get pregnant in the next few years. And I was so glad we kept that. I almost got rid of it and we was like, no, I don't want to get rid of that because it's not, it's expensive. It's an expensive car seat. Kept the Duna. I did get rid of the bassinet. Um, so, but like I said, I think we'll do a mini crib this time. Um, and then probably, I actually gave a lot of my clothes to my sister. She had a baby boy. He is like four, around four months old now. Um, so I gave pretty much all of Cal's clothes to her with, with the exception of a few things. I'll have to go back and see what I didn't give her, but I gave her pretty much everything. So I'll definitely buy like the gender neutral outfits for the beginning some newborn gender neutral things. And then once the baby comes, we can figure out whether we need girl or boy clothes. And that's what I did with Cal is in the hospital after we knew he was a boy. I went on like baby gap and old Navy and things and ordered him some boy stuff. But other than that, um, I'll have to look and see what else we've kept. I think we've kept like our baby like bouncer and things like that. Um, I did get rid of our like little lounger. I think we kept our, I think we might have the boppy still. So I don't know. I'll just look, have to look through all of our things and see. Yeah, definitely glad we don't have to buy like everything for a baby. Glad we didn't get rid of every single thing. I keep trying to fix my necklace, which I, we, we, I've also been thinking this is, um, I know I get a lot of questions on my necklace. This is my initial necklace that Ethan got me for Mother's Day the year like right after Kyle was born that Mother's Day and it's got all my kids initials on it all my living children here um all their initials on it and it's a Maya Brenner necklace and what I love about these is I can add an initial so I will definitely send it in once we figure out baby's name and then um you can like repair it when you need to like if it were to break you just send it in they'll repair it and I'm also going to get it shortened when I do send it in to add the initial um, it's a little longer than I want it to be, so I want to sh shorten it a couple inches. So, yeah, it's a Maya Brenner necklace, and I love it. I never take this thing off. Is your doctor going to take steps to help you carry the baby longer? Um, are you nervous after Cal? So, if y'all have been around since Cal was born, he was in the NICU for several days, and that was scary. And I always say that we had it good compared to a lot of NICU babies that are in there for months and months, but it was really a tough time. It was a really tough time with him being in the NICU. It was really tough for me. We were in the hospital. We both had to be transferred once he was born. He had to be transferred to another hospital and then I was transferred after that and I was not able to be with him for several hours and it was just a really hard experience and I even, I think at my, one of my postpartum visits after Cal, maybe like, it might have been like a year later, I had like my yearly uh, OB or yearly visit to the gynecologist. I think I asked him like, you know, if we decided on one more do you think, because I've always developed preeclampsia, high blood pressure as my pregnancy goes on. Uh, and, but the thing about it, and then I'm, in, I'm, I'm always induced at 37 weeks with all my pregnancies. I've always been induced at 37 weeks. And I asked him like, you know, can we just, do you think it's possible as we get to that point to maybe go a little bit longer if I'm not doing like too bad? And he was like, we can definitely try to even, as long as you're doing okay, we can try to stretch you a little bit longer. So hopefully, hopefully you just never know um, how how your body's gonna do being pregnant and your blood pressure, preeclampsia and all that. So hopefully as we get a little bit farther, we can kind of see how I'm doing and hopefully stretch it a little bit longer than 37 weeks, especially um, 
to kind of avoid that Nikki stay again. All right, I think I've answered all the most asked questions everybody's had. So I am gonna go ahead and end this out and head out with the kiddos and play for a little bit. So thank y'all for coming along for this journey. I'm excited to bring y'all along. Um, hopefully do updates every so often, but also my videos are pretty much gonna stay the same as well with like some pregnancy stuff kind of sprinkled in every so often too. Um, so thank y'all for coming along. Thank y'all for being excited for us and we're excited to um, bring y'all along over these next several months. And I'll see you guys soon for another one. Bye.